Hey, this is Steve Gill with your Daily Notes for March 17, 2009, wishing you a happy St. Patrick's Day and a happy end to the War on Terror. That's right, have you not heard? The War on Terror is over. Well, the war's not actually over. Our enemies have still declared it on us. But we're not going to call it a war on terror anymore because the Barack Obama administration has decided that that whole war thing sounds like we're going to fight back. And as we move to a pre-9-11 mentality, we can't be declaring war on our enemies. In fact, we're not even going to call them our enemies anymore. Those enemy combatants that we have detained at Guantanamo Bay, we're going to have to call them something else other than enemy combatants because enemy sounds like well, they're our enemies and that we're at war. And since the war is over and they're no longer our enemies, we need a new term. Some people have suggested the term care bears for the Council on American Islamic Relations, C-A-I-R, care bears, because, well, they're really just kind of little teddy bears that just happen to be in our custody. Barack Obama's declared his intentions to close Guantanamo Bay, doesn't know how he's going to do it, doesn't know when he's going to do it, but having declared it so, the mainstream media is now willing to move on to other stories. And as we classify what we call them, we'll also figure out where to put them. And we can't call them terrorists anymore either. That also doesn't fit, particularly when Janet Napolitano, our head of Homeland Security, has declared that we no longer have terrorist attacks occurring in the world anymore. No, terrorist attacks sound so terrifying. So we're going to call it something else as well. And Janet Napolitano has come up with the term man-caused disasters. That's right, terror attacks like we saw on 9-11, like we saw in Mumbai, like we've seen all over the world, are no longer terror attacks. They're simply man-caused disasters. Sort of like a tornado or a hurricane or a flood. They just happen from time to time. These just happen to be man-caused disasters as opposed to those natural disasters. We can't confront them. We can't do anything to fix them. We'll just pretend they're something other than they are. It's interesting that the Barack Obama administration not willing to declare a war on terror, but they're willing to use the dictionary to declare a war on semantics. So whether you call them terrorists or just our friends who happen to be Democrats in another country, it's whatever you call them that doesn't sound quite like we're going to do anything about it, which is the real story. Sort of like we weren't doing anything about the war on terror before 9-11, until bloodshed forced us to confront the truth. The truth, reality, will rise again, whether Barack Obama and Janet Napolitano and the rest want to acknowledge it in the meantime or not. We'll talk more about it tomorrow on The Steve Gill Show and at gillreport.com.